Hello, it's Wednesday and it's a wet, wet day today. Fortunately, it has actually just stopped raining. Hey, while I'm out here, look at my tomatoes. <laughs> Izzy was ill last night. She was throwing up, oh, like violently and continuously until she had thrown up everything she could possibly throw up. And then she just skipped merrily out of the bathroom and said, oh, I feel so much better and went off happily to bed and has been fine ever since. Very strange. I wasn't affected by anything and I was trying to puzzle what she had eaten that was different to what I had eaten. And the only things I could think of was one, she had that ice cream in the park and she did say there were some bits in it, some little green bits and we just thought it must be, I don't know, some confectionery from one of the other flavours dropped in or something. Um, and the only other thing that she had was different was a strawberry from the garden which I picked and I washed it so much I nearly washed the seeds off but maybe a bird had pooed on it or something, I don't know. But she's fine today. A tiny bit queasy she is but on the whole she's okay. I still can't get through to college but I have had an email back saying that they still haven't heard anything but they'll let me know as soon as they have and they're gonna chase it. I really just want to get her enrolled so I know it's definitely happening and I really, really could do with her timetable so we can plan our lives. I've still got a load of paperwork to do that I didn't quite manage to do yesterday, but it being a rainy day is the perfect day to get on with it this afternoon. However, it is now lunchtime, so I'm going to invent something as I always do. I've decided on cauliflower slash broccoli cheese. I'm making a roux at the moment to make a white sauce and with it, for a bit of carbohydrate, we're gonna have this cheeky Asda's garlic bread that I bought when we went to Asda's that time. So pretty simple and easy today. Oh, look what's just come. Yippee. Right, see if I can make this one last more than six months this time. This is the challenge. <laughs> this is a one kilogram one. I'll leave a link in the description. <laughs> when they're not broken, they're really good. Honest. Otherwise I wouldn't be buying another one. Unboxing, unboxing. I don't really know why people like unboxings. I think that's just packaging. But apparently people do like unboxings. Hello. Help me, I'm all stuck together. Don't worry, I will liberate you. Right, don't break this one, Imo. Right, so some of this doesn't bend, does it? That was where I went last time. I tried to bend something that wasn't supposed to bend. So I should identify that early on and colour code it or something. There we are. And I've got the um, the screwy top bit. I'm just going to nick off the other one. That bit didn't actually come with it. I think that came from something else that I had lying around the house. But it just helps with the swivel on the top for refining without bending the legs too much. This flaps around a bit though. Sometimes I sellotape that down because otherwise you get a clicking on the audio when you're walking around with it. I'd better get back on with my cauliflower slash broccoli cheese now because uh, the microwave's dinged. I'm doing white sauce in the microwave. I accidentally boiled my white sauce in the microwave. Oops, Daisy. It's a lot thinner than usual. I don't know if that's because I boiled it or because I used soya milk. Uh, it could be a mix of both, maybe. I think it's thickening up, actually, as it's cooling down. That would make sense, actually, wouldn't it? Because uh, hotter things are... You know, on an atomic level, they're kind of whizzing around, aren't they? So it would make sense. And further spaced out. So it would make sense, yes, I suppose, that it would thicken up as it cooled down. I have cooled Izzy, but she hasn't materialised yet. I am not on form today. I've singed the garlic bread as well, but I'm sure it'll be nice. <laughs> it looks like it's in a soup, but um, I just ladled loads of extra sauce into mine because I like it saucy. Izzy doesn't, she likes it really dry, but I'll dip my garlic bread in it. That was nice, I'm feeling quite full up now and uh, I've got my new tripod in action. Next thing I need to do is try again to get hold of Izzy's college. I have left another voicemail and another email today. I did have a response from one of the emails, but it was like a sort of secretary type person that needed to hear back from the big boss. So they were just saying they hadn't heard yet and they were still trying. <laughs> um, I found another email address to try on their Facebook. <laughs> so we're going to try that next. I've emailed admissions. Just wanted to show you. Look, second day running. The dehumidifier has filled right up again. I accidentally left it on overnight and that is how much it got. 
I just popped it back on, I tipped it down the sink because it's been raining, no need to put it on the plants. Look, the humidity is right down. That's been over here for ages, but look, it's almost in the okay, into the moderate now. I'll give it a bit more anyway, and um, yeah, that's great. That's obviously the trick, just leave it on overnight. Thing is, I worry about the electricity bill. Now I've got to do a load of boring stuff to do with council tax, which is very boring. Profits and loss forms it is for my business, in inverted commas, playing music. I've just been sat there doing that, it's my paperwork, and not zooming in on it, obviously, it's confidential. I've got to scan it in and email it this year, they uh, don't want us to post it. But look, I was just wandering around, and do you remember this bit of rosemary sprig that I picked off a bush while I was out and about? I put it in water there, put it in some water to see if it would take a root so I could pot it, and it has! Yay! My first cutting, I think. Although I think I might have done one when I was... I think I did one by accident once uh, as a young adult. But there you go, that was on purpose and it worked. So I'm going to find a pot to put that in. I'm getting quite the collection. Look at my lovely bushy herbs. <laughs> I'm going to have a rosemary bush soon. It'll be quite nice to have them all on the kitchen windowsill. They'd look lovely. Anyway, I'd better get back to my boring paperwork. Well, I can't email it because it's bouncing back, so I'm going to go old school. Oh, there's a jiffy envelope there. I was looking for a load of those the other day. Oh, do you know, I was looking everywhere for that the other day. Remember, for that little girl's present. Uh, this is my stamps and envelopes drawer. Look, there's a stamp there. I'm going to use second class, though, because it's not that urgent. That's what I want. One of these. It goes. I might as well just go and pop this in the box now, get that out of the way. And I've noticed that an email's popped up from college as well, so as soon as I get back, I'm going to open that up and see what that's about. Fingers crossed it's something good. I don't know if I see a lot of disposable masks on the floor when I'm out and about. I'm back, I've had a look at that college email, something about agreeing to terms and conditions so they can initiate a process of setting them up with some electronic way of accessing, I don't know, a college intranet or something like that. But I've just got an urge to pick blackberries, <laughs> so it's not raining at the moment and I've been staring at a screen for ages sorting that paperwork out, so I'm going to just do that for a bit of a break. And Isabel ate all the lot of the last lot of blackberries and enjoyed them, so I'm going to get her another bowl full, hopefully. If the bush will yield as generously as it did last time. Let's go and see, shall we? Ever so optimistically, I have packed some Tupperware. Oh yes, we still have plenty of berries in the bush. Some of them are dying and rotting on the bush and some of them are okay still. The ones that are slightly out of reach always look juicier, don't they? Like the grass is always greener kind of thing. Time to get coming. Oh, 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 look at them. Look everywhere. Blinking heck. Core. Oh, don't even know where to start. So many of them. Oh, it's a bit squidgy. Oh, they're beautifully ripe. Maybe a little overripe. I'm going to put the camera down and get on with it. How do they look? Mm. There's still a few more on this bush, but... A couple of ladies came advancing towards me out of this uh, rather official looking building here with lanyards on around their necks. And I thought, oh no, they're going to come tell me off. But they weren't. They weren't going to come and tell me off. They tipped me off. There's another bush behind the building, so I'm going to have a little look now. <sighs> look. Look at them. Look. <sighs> That's one pot full. Just going to fill that one up and then I shall head back. I've found yet another bush but this one isn't quite as bountiful. I've come across quite a lot of apples here as well. Windfalls. They're mostly damaged I believe. Mm, quite a lot of things eating them. Ugh, look at that. Ugh. No thank you, that's kind of put me off them. I think they've rolled down the hill because the tree that I can see that they're coming from is in somebody's garden. So they're obviously um, falling off over the wall, just rolling down. I would have an intact one. I see things are burrowing in. I wonder if there's any fresh ones that have just landed. 
I'm going to give the uh, the sluggy ones a miss for sure. Yes, yeah, so it's quite a steep thing that they're landing on this, and then they're rolling down. Mm. Nope. Ugh, no, thank you. Oh well. Just blackberries then, not blackberry and apple. I'm back. I've put them in a bowl of salty water, which is here. They're so juicy that it's actually coloured the water. Anyway, it is quarter to six and I'm going to carry on with my daily flute practice hour today. I'm only doing an hour a day because I'm just keeping it topped up rather than actively working on stuff much. So yeah, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.